guys, comment ça va? In this video, I will show you different meanings of the French pronoun on. If you learn French, you already came across this pronoun. You should know already that we conjugated like il and elle, right? He, she, on. So it's impersonal pronoun, right? But you know that usually we use it like we. But from A to level, you can already come across some sentences, situations where on doesn't mean we oui, but something else so it doesn't mean no right so actually on can have all these meanings guys look so we oui, that you know from the very beginning that it can mean someone it can also be everybody it can also be people and it can even be you i will show you an example and i will explain the situation for each of these meanings guys okay let's start with the first one so, of course, it will depend on the situation. On can have different meanings in the same sentence depending on the situation, okay? So, let's start with the first one. Imagine, in general, like, if I say on est à la plage, what do I mean? Do I mean we, you, everybody, they, someone? Well, usually it will mean us, right? If you call me and you say, where are you? I'm with someone and I say on est à la plage, nous sommes à la plage. Next one, on sonne à la porte, okay? Sonner is to ring the bell, right? Porte is door. So imagine you are at your place with a friend and he says, on sonne à la porte. So who is on here? What do you think? It means someone, right? We don't know. You don't know, your friend doesn't know, right? So basically it means quelqu'un sonne à la porte, right? Somebody, somebody. Next one, on doit respecter la loi, okay, in general. On doit respecter la loi. You see here, it can be everybody, right? Because everybody must respect the law, right? Everybody. Next one. En France, on mange des escargots. Who is on? If there is no special context, guys, right? It will mean people, right? In France, people eat snails right in france they eat snails people eat snails next one and the last one guys it's a question right so this is the case where it means you let me explain you because i think this one is the most tricky imagine you arrive home tired and you do like oh. so your family can say oh dis donc on est fatigué on est fatigué it means oh are you tired on est fatigué okay this is the situation so sometimes we can use it talking to someone meaning you for example someone is getting mad in front of you you can say oh on est énervé on est énervé like you are mad right so it will mean you okay guys now your turn i have few sentences where you should guess the meaning but of course it depends on the situation but still i try to make the most clear examples where it's more or less obvious, okay? If I say, on se voit demain, who do I mean? Who am, am I talking about? On is no, right? Do we see each other tomorrow? Do we meet tomorrow, right? Do we meet tomorrow? Next one. On meurt un jour. Mourir is to die, right? Who is on here? Yes, everybody, right? everybody then on parle anglais aux états unis who is on here people right next one on t'appelle on t'appelle imagine you are at work and your colleague says on t'appelle okay it means appeler is to call right so on is someone right we don't know you don't know he says on t'appelle he doesn't say mr bond he says on t'appelle so Someone, 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 okay? We don't know who. This is it, guys. So I advise you, if this information is new to you guys, I advise you to make a mind map. Otherwise, if it's too much work for you, I advise you to try to reinvest this information as soon as you can in your speech, okay? If you practice French. Otherwise, what you can do is just write examples in the comments below okay and remember guys when you reinvest what you learned it's really important to keep it relevant to you try to reinvest it in your own way like in something that you would really say in real life 
okay that would that is relevant to you this is very important that's it for today thank you bye bye